Hi, Hiram here. I know I did a video on this can opener stuff a couple of months back, but there seems to be some confusion. And I thought while I have a can opener here that I'm getting ready to send to David in uh, London, I thought maybe I'd do another quick little video here and try to explain some things and clear things up. Now in my mind, I don't know what the terminology is, but I think there's basically three kinds of can openers. Clamshell, where you pinch down on the can. This is what I call a pivot, where you have to turn the uh, handle to make it engage on the can. And the motorized. Now all of these are side cutting can openers, but there's can openers and then there's can openers. When these cans, or rather with can openers just the way they are, they're made to cut cans that have sharp corners on them. Now when I say sharp corners I mean it's like a 90 degree here versus like say on a soda can you have this lip which makes it indented on the top. So a can opener that's made to open up this kind of can can't reach in and open this. The bottom gets in the way. So what you end up having to do oh and then there's this kind. This was given to me for Christmas I guess about two years ago. It's a motorized one that works real good on cans. Yeah, come on, make me a oh I see. It's been used. Hang on. Gotta get it back to the start position. It has a sequence that it goes through. Come on. This is what happens when you don't look at things first off. There we go. Okay now this just goes on to the top. Just like that. Push the button, and a can opener goes on its own. Now this is a side opening can opener, but with a difference. And I think this is where people run into problems. This cuts on the side, but it cuts on the side below the bead. So that then you end up with a sharp top. And then have people have said that their lids have fallen through because of that. So this is basically one you can't use for cutting the lids off uh, Heineken cans or soda cans to use for pots. Now what ends up happening, to use one of these, let me show you David's cutter here. See, there we go. Can you see it? This little thing here, it's a raised up area. That has to be removed. And one of the easiest ways is just to take a file, file it down so that it's flat with the rest of the edge here. You got to leave some meat for this pivot pin, but just take some of this down. and then it should work. Now here you have, this is the Heineken can that a lot of people like to use for pots. You have the big Heineken cans that people are using for pots for their camping. Now instead of using this, it's a little early for beer. I have a soda can here, Coke, my favorite. What you end up having to do is put the handle on there like that. This one's been cleared so that it fits up against. It has clearance there. Clamshell it down. Oops. Make sure your soda's cold or your beer's cold. You just go around one time around. If you go multiple times you'll wreck the lid. And there you go. Now unlike last time I got, boy, did I get the email for my method of emptying out the can. Ah, the heck with it. Ah. 
anyway there you go now you have a nice lid that fits on nice if you want to take this off the key to leave the uh, spout intact just drill it from the other side and the key will come off so there you go like I said I like the clamshell cut can openers you can use this kind but stay away from this kind uh, these run about ten dollars plus tax so I hope that helps I look forward to your input questions remarks and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now